Hey guys, in the following tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update your archives and search pages within Portal 2. So your archive pages will be those for your categories and for the tags. So if someone was to click on a category on your site, uh, they will then be presented with this view for the category posts. Now you can choose the layout option for this, a standard it will use a three column uh, grid. So to keep it consistent with your uh, layout, so whatever layout you choose, uh, you will uh, want to keep, uh, I guess, a consistent view whenever someone gets to a category page as well. And to do that, it's quite simple. So go into your WordPress backend and then go to Flow Themes and Pages. And then you will have a few different options. So the first option in, in the Pages set area is the default page layout will be full width. And with this, you can actually select left and right sidebars as well. And if you wanted to, you could apply this to all of your posts. So you can uh, choose a default page layout option. So whenever you create a new page, it will have a default option and a default sidebar selected. It's not very common to use this, but in case you're a blogger and you need to have a sidebar on every page, uh, that it's very useful. You also have the option for the search page. Uh, so the search page will be, if you have a search uh, icon on your site, uh, you will then be able to display a listing type page. Again, the same as what you would have uh, here for your portfolios or your blog posts, whenever you use that listing block. You can choose what layout you would like, whether that is a grid format, whether that is a list view, uh, where it's just you know, image text, um, etc. You can choose which option you want for that. And then you also have the option for selecting some specific options. So if you, whatever option you select, you'll be presented with a, a section below that gives you various options for each and every single layout. Most popular layout tends to be the second layout two and layout three, they're both very popular. And with layout two, for example, you can actually choose if you want to have two columns, three columns and four columns the spacing between the images, for example, just as you would with a normal listing block. Um, details for the hover as well, if you want the hover effect or custom hover color, that, that color here. And the transparency of this as well. So over the image, 80%, it will only sh it will show 80% color, 20% opacity. Now you can also choose the overlay elements as well. So that is the, uh, the text and icons, etc. And again, you can choose a custom option for that. You can choose the decorative image. Do you want to display it? Yes or no. And then update fonts and say if you want to have the categories as well. So if you want to display the date and category in this section, uh, just yes or no for A6, display dates with categories. Finally, you have the option for the link uh, label. So that's read more in this case here right at the bottom, read more. And again, you can update, just update that. Just the exact same as a normal listing block when you choose the layout for that. The same will also go for the archive page. So previously this uh, section was for the search page. If someone searches, they'll get a view type. And then also for the archive page, the exact same principle remains. Choose what options that you would like for the page. Come down to the specific, choose, uh, choose the layout, default, square, etc. Depending on which option you choose, these options will be different. So just review them for yourselves uh, and just adjust them accordingly. Uh, again, just go through all the different options here, make the updates, and you should be good as gold. Finally, you have an option for pagination. Uh, so you can have the pagination options here, and you can uh, update uh, the elements color. So the text uh, items, previous, next, one, two, three, four, etc., can be changed. You can choose a custom color for that also. And then you can update the labels for previous posts or next posts. Uh, you can word that whatever, to whatever you want. If you're on a multilingual site, it's possible you will want to change that uh, to a different language. Or if you're just translating your entire site, again, you will want to update those to your native language. Finally, you have uh, the page not found options. And that will just be whenever you have a 404, if someone searches and they don't find anything, uh, then you will get a, the 404 page not found. Uh, you can add the description. And then you can add the title or the title for the link that will link back to uh, your homepage. So it could it could say uh, we didn't find what we're looking for. Uh, go back to homepage, something like that. Um, and then 
whenever they click it, it will go back to the home page. So that's it guys. Um, it's a quick overview of the page settings and how you can uh, update the, the layouts for your search page and your archive page. Uh, hopefully that helps. Thanks.